Indigenous Xenos discovered on Gosar Quintus, awaiting orders on Exterminatus. Negative. Planet's resources invaluable to the Imperial war effort. Confirmed. Deploying Ordo Xenos Chamber Militant Death Watch. They will purge this planet of its Xeno scum in the name of the Emperor. Welcome everybody to another Monday night matchup. I am Claudio, your host tonight. We have Anthony versus Kevin, and they're in the studio ready to face off. Kevin's bringing his death watch. Let's check it out. They're my favorite army, mainly because I can make every single unit a character. I go out of my way to pretty much convert and customize everything. So everybody is distinguishable from each other. Kevin's going to be facing off against our very own Northern Knight, Anthony, and our custom Gene Stealer Cult army painted by Justin, of course. I feel like I'm going to have a good time. I have deep striking, lots of deep striking. Most of my stuff is going underground, and I'm going to pop up where it hurts him the most. Anthony's list has three Ridge Runners, as well as two Goliath Rock Grinders, and a five-man unit of Jackals with that little ATV with them, and of course, the Reductus Sabatoir. He also has a bunch of Neophyte and Acolytes in reserve, along with some Aberrants. Kevin has a lot of models to chew through, and remember, Anthony can respawn those units, so he's taking Kill Team Cassius, Terminators, an Intercessor Squad, and a 10-man Death Watch Veteran Squad, and of course, a big Redemptor Dreadnought. Let's take a look at the missions we're doing today. First off, the deployment is Search and Destroy. Our primary mission is Sites of Power, so holding an objective with a character will get you an additional 3 VP per objective. And the mission twist is Chosen Battlefield, so each player will get to put their own objective markers down. This could make for a very interesting match. Let's get to it. Welcome to another Monday Night Matchup. Today we have Kevin on. He has this amazing Death Watch army that actually has been in an army showcase that we'll put right up here. Oh look, Anthony remembered to put the link there. Kill Team Cassius made their big historic debut by being the first ones to discover the Gene Sealer Cultists. Anthony has three units of Neophytes in reserve as well as a unit of Aberrants. My units for Deep Strike will be a Veteran Squad who will be in the Drop Pod, uh, my Death Watch Terminators, and then I've got my Proteus Kill Team on to deployment, the first thing that comes down is the Goliath Rock Grinder. Anthony places it at the back, and Kevin counters with the Redemptor Dreadnought. Not holding back, Anthony puts down the other Goliath Rock Grinder, as well as the two Ridge Runners, as Kevin places down Kill Team Cassius right in the middle, ready to kill some Xenos. And the Reductor Sabatoir is in the back, ready to bomb some people, along with the Jackals. This seems to be a very quick deployment for Anthony because he only has about eight models and Kevin is ready to purge the Xenos as he places a beacon for his Terminators. The idea was that we're going to have Kill Team Cassius discover the Gene Sealer Cults for the first time, which is the same thing in lore. He was the first one to discover Gene Sealer Cultists and bring them uh, to the attention of the Imperium. I think Sites of Power is going to be a really fun mission since it's very thematic. I'm gunning for those uh, important missions. I have so many characters. I'm gonna stand on the objectives, get bonus points, and I don't know, there's important info we need there to take over the Imperium. I'm ready to see who goes first because I'm ready to just scout away if I'm not first. I get a four. I got a six. Yeah, it should be fine if I go like this. Minus the last cannon, you know. One last cannon, yeah, dude, these guys could die, it's fine. Anthony completing his scout moves as it's on to first turn for the Death Watch. 10, 15 guys on the table. Very easy to hide. Very different from putting 120 models on the table. If I get shot turn one with beyond like one or two guns, I did something wrong. Uh, this has scout and I don't want it dying. This guy has scout. Basically the only things I have on the board can run away. He will actually go behind the rock. Rocks are my cover, buildings are my cover, I can literally dig underground for cover. We get it, Anthony has a lot of cover, but there are a few models that those Dreadnoughts can see, so we'll see what happens as Kevin draws his first two secondaries. And he draws Assassination, and his second card is Capture Enemy Outposts. That's a hard one first turn. I'm gonna make uh, Kill Team Cassius run. So they run nine. Kill Team Cassius runs nine inches up the middle of the board there, and Kevin also moves his intercessors 
on the right flank, getting closer to that Ridge Runner. And at the end of his movement phase, he has a surprise. A drop pod time. Hmm. You don't have to bring it down. With Anthony putting so many units in reserve, there was a lot of space for Kevin to slam that drop pod down and out pops the veterans. And yes, they do have frag cannons. Two frag cannons going to the jackals. Hitting on fours. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Hey, you're gonna need that somewhere else. So wounding you on threes for strength seven. That is everything. This could wipe the squad. You're in front of me, so no cover, so got it. I need to save two of these. Odds are I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Sweet. <laughs> four of the guys are dead and the ATV who has four wounds is going down to two. So the jackals are gone. The ATV gets sniped out by some bolter fire and the Redemptor Dreadnought completely whiffs. That's all of Kevin's stuff in range. Time for Anthony to draw his secondaries, assassination and capture enemy outpost. Exactly the same. How are you going to retaliate? How am I going to retaliate? by having a very fast turn one because I have like three or four units I can shoot. Although there's only a few models on the board, they are heavy powered weapons and he's moving his Ridge Runners as well as the two Goliath Rock Grinders around, trying to get some line of sight of anything they can see. And there is a lot of line of sights right now. What will Anthony choose and what will explode? We're gonna start with the Rock Grinder over here because uh, he has a last cannon. Rock Grinder going right into those veterans with everything it's got. Let's see if they can hold it up. D3 plus two. Get hurt. Four shots hitting on threes because he has a spotter to give ballistic skill yep. three plus. They all hit. Yep. Twos. Anthony being a great host, shooting our guest right in the face. So first one, saved. What is he just standing in front of everybody? Yeah, he's just holding, in, he's just holding, in, holding the line. The veteran with the shield makes a few saves, but now he's dead. Uh, he's dead, so you can take him off there. I'm scared of the Demter. let's get him. Okay. It's only D3 shots. I could, you know, instantly kill you or just literally do nothing. So the Ridge Runner in the middle of the table is going for the Redemptor. All right, let's just do the Mining Laser first. Get it out of the way with that D3 and it's one. It's going to hit. I'm really glad I didn't put the stubbers into there. Threes. Get wounded at AP minus three. Let's see. Can you do it? Nope. So whatever you roll for damage, minus one. One. Ouch, and Anthony rolls a one. And now it's time for the other rock grinder to go into the Primaris Intercessors. This might be overkill. Two and minus three. So rolling sixes. Cover. Correct, so fives. Double ones. Eat it, that just kills a guy each. Only two Primaris Intercessors go down, everything else whiffs. Now it's time to charge because nothing else to shoot. So Anthony charges the drop pod with the Rock Grinder. And I will tank shock. So I'm just, I spent both my CP and it's a strength 10 weapon. So I roll 12 dice. Okay. And on a five plus, it's a mortal up to six. All I need is one guy to survive and I'll let, make that the uh, Thunder Hammer. I want that uh, drop pod after. Two mortal wounds. All right, that tank shock only did two. That's all I need because now I have his normal ability on a four plus on these six dice is immortal. I could wipe out half the squad. Three more. That's three Marines fed to the wood chipper and I get six more attacks. You have four guys left. I could wipe you out, please. Two sustained, they all hit. So that's one dead, that's two dead, that's three dead. Is it exactly what you said where... Yes. Just the Thunder Hammers left? Yes, just the Thunder Hammers left. That Goliath Rock Grinder did so much work, that veteran squad is almost gone. It's right, 10 weapon. Strength 10. It's a strength 10 weapon because it's a heavy Thunder Hammer. You just killed my deep strike. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the, <laughs> what'd you do there? Okay, so you got two wounds. Fives. There we go. I take six. So the lone veteran with the heavy Thunder Hammer does six damage, but a lot of units coming in for Anthony next turn. Now, end of turn one, zero and zero. There's not much more to say. They couldn't score because they had assassinate and capture enemy outpost. Obviously those are not able to be done in the first turn. There is no scoring for primaries in the first turn. Time to go to turn two. First turn, there really, really wasn't a whole lot to be able to shoot just because he had a lot of his stuff in deep strike. 
but fortunately, I was able to drop my drop pod full of veterans down in the corner and they absolutely blew away all his jackals. The rock grinder just going in, eating that kill team was just really funny, killing like nine guys in a single turn on his own. I'm telling you, I love the rock grinder tech. Start of turn two, nothing changes here for Kevin. Assassination and capture enemy outpost keeps them both. So now kill team Cassius is moving up the middle of the table, trying to kill some Xeno scum. And Kevin has the back table very locked down right now. And in Anthony's backfield, there's gonna be another problem for him there in the Terminator variety. And do you remember in GoldenEye when you used to step on proximity mines and your friends blew you up? Well, that just happened right now with the Reductor Sabotoir on the Redemptor Dreadnought. Reductor Sabotoir is going to bomb your Dreadnought. Alrighty. You can't reduce the damage of this because it's just mortals. Right. On a two plus, take D3 plus three. Yep. D3 plus three now. All right. Take six mortals. Wow, six mortals and Anthony's excited. He should be because that hurts. Incinerator. Going to be shooting into that Ridge Runner there. You did oath him. Yep, I did oath him. Uh, you are toughness seven on them. Toughness seven. So I'm wounding you on threes. Please let me see my logo. Not one. No, it's dead. Do I blow up? No. He goes out like a wet fart. Justin's famous line. <laughs> Going out like a wet fart. Now it's time for the charge phase. As far as charging is concerned, my Terminator's over there are going into the dude with the table. The Nexos? Yes, the Come Nexos. On. Pronounce the Xeno names. <laughs> we speak oh my that. God, it's as well! <laughs> <laughs> Statistically impossible not to happen, right? The dice gods care not about statistics. Terminators are strength eight versus your toughness of three. Seven wounds. Minus two, two damage apiece. So you do 14 damage to my three moon model that I don't get a save on. He's paced, he's basically red mist. <laughs> I'm holding up the map and just <laughs> right through. And you would hit the map, would you? So Kevin using Terminators to kill a guy holding a map, he definitely posed a threat. I do agree with Kevin. He could have rolled that up and swatted somebody with it. But now Kevin's last veteran in that squad is gone. But Kevin got the Terminators to pile into the Ridge Runner, and he now holds that other objective as Anthony's sticking with the Rock Grinder tech and trying to move more into them into combat. How is Anthony going to counter? Very easily bring in 600 models. Basically, Neophyte hybrids, and look at those aberrants, all purple and hulky looking, ready to slap Terminators. This is going to hurt, and this is going to be very, very bloody battle in the backfield here. Kevin and Anthony has swapped objectives. And look what Anthony's drawn. Bring it down, and he keeps capture enemy outposts, so they're both gonna be capturing each other's outposts. I'm gonna spend a CP so that that squad that came up, that one, gets plus one to ballistic skill and plus one AP. So they're sustained hits, ignores cover, plus one AP, and they hit on threes now. All right. Except for the big guns. All right, and because the Primus is attached to that unit, they get to reroll the hit rolls. Okay. I do wanna get crossfire by shooting this guy with two wounds left into the Dreadnought. Mining laser, one hit, that's all I need. And now it's gonna be threes. Take one and minus three. So Kevin's gonna fail that one against the Redemptor Dreadnought. It's only gonna take one damage because Anthony's really good at rolling ones. I think we talked about that already. Now you have Crossfire on you. So everybody else gets plus one AP on him. Plus one AP against that Redemptor Dreadnought is going to help, but he's going to have to shoot a lot of little guns into him. All the dread uh, guns that can see the Dreadnought are going there. Lasers are going to the Dreadnought. Whoever can't see the Dreadnought are just going to go to that kill team you dropped. All right. So two mining lasers with one hit. So reroll the hit roll. Sustain hit one because I came yeah. from underground. Yeah. Threes. Two at minus four, no cover. Uh, one hit, one went through. One went through, D6 plus one. Two damage. Another one, Anthony is amazing at rolling ones. I'm taking him to Vegas and going to the crab stable. I'll use one to use Armor of Contempt. Ooh, four. I'm gonna roll it on the Terminator or whatever. No, Terminator takes one. The Terminator only takes one wound and they're gonna stay on that objective for the rest of the turn. And guess what's charging again? The Goliath Rock Grinder into the drop pod. Uh, I'm strength 10. Yeah, okay. Three. Three. 
Oh, that's what I get for all the sustained hits. Four at minus two. So that's dead. Anthony killed the drop pod. It goes away. Now, end of turn two, we see a little more scoring here. 25, 27 in favor of Death Watch. Kevin doing a little bit of a better job getting those secondary objectives right now. The primary objectives go in favor of Anthony by three points, but it's all going to depend on what happens in turn three. On turn three, Kevin puts down his last kill team. It's a 10-man squad, and they're going to kill a lot of purple people, and they hit very hard. The Terminator stay on the back objective. Kill Team Cassius staying in the middle. I guess that's what their job is this game, but the Intercessors are coming up, and they have Plasma, and of course the Dreadnought is still have five wounds left. And that Redemptor wastes no time peeling models off the table with his heavy guns. Any other shooting he has to do? He's got a heavy flamer. You're going to wipe out like half the scene, aren't you? Yes. That's the plan. Uh, it's fives versus threes. Three at minus one. So I actually going to save this time? Yes. Sixes. Okay, three more dead. So you did kill about half the squad so far. All right. So how many are dead so far? Ten. So ten. A heavy flamer burning some purple men and sending them back to the Willy Wonka factory. And the last unit Kevin has to shoot is that veteran squad in the backfield. And they hail down some bolt flyer, getting ready to charge into the other acolyte unit. Let's see what happens. Charges. Terminators into that, obviously. You do make it. You very make it. He's in it. The Terminators get into another Ridge Runner. And of course, we saw how that went before. Time to slap another one. And of course, this is an unfailable charge as well. The veterans are going to get in. And the lieutenant with the intercessors are going to go into the rock grinder. I don't know what Kevin has planned for this one, but the way the rock grinders have been attacking, it might not be the best plan right now. Now that my Proteus kill team is charged with Kelomorph, uh, he's probably dead, but I'm just going to, for fun, I'm going to have the Watchmaster use his glaive against him. Wounding on twos. Uh, looks like you got five saves at minus two. Joke's on you, have a five up in Vaughn for some reason. <laughs> he has a cape. I saved two. Minimum damage, I'm dead. I just want to see how much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Yes. <laughs> Kevin bullying Anthony like a dude holding a map. All right, Kelomorph down. The hero. And then they hero. move in. The pistolier. I swear, Jean Sierra called her half French. So Kevin piles in to the other unit after killing that first one. Let's see if the intercessors can actually do some damage into this rock grinder. It's going to be tough. So one is auto wounding. So five. That is nothing. The four armed emperor. I'm still praying to the emperor. Technically. And it oh worked! Oh my god. Okay. Rock Grinder shrugs those off like nothing. Time for the Terminators to punch a buggy. Minus two at two. I have a five up save. Yeah. Only eight wounds. Yep. Nice. Ooh. Not doable. One, two. I, that's a lot. <laughs> I take 12. That's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. These Terminators are making up their points. I must say that. Time for the rock grinder to fight back. The rock truck. Mm -hmm. Six attacks. No sustained, but five hit. Okay. When you on twos. Yep. Four at negative two. Two damage each. Fives. Right? Two damage each? Yep. Two damage each. Two Marines die. So basically you're just finding my lieutenant at this point. And that's my objective again. God dang. Anthony's stealing objectives just like the Imperium stole his land. So I'm going to spend one command point for Teleportarium. The Terminators, just the Terminators. Let's do Terminators. Kevin is putting the Terminators into the Teleportarium for one CP. They're going to go back into Deep Strike. And Anthony brings on a unit to get his back objective back. And those are ones that died. Don't you love how Gene Stealers can just come back to life? It's so much fun. And of course, Kevin using that beacon to bring his Terminators right back down. Why do you keep screwing with me in my booming face? I come in again, I have to take my own objective, and once again, the Terminators are here. Um, well, you see, um, die Xenos. Die Xenos, 
I'm going to start with the rock grinder over here. Okay. He's going to shoot everything at this, what is that, intercessor squad? The intercessor kill team. Yep. Anthony shooting into the intercessor kill team, trying to create some space in the middle of the board. The laser is blast. How many are in there? 10. D3 plus two. Four. Four is because... Ah. <laughs> Hey, hey, even if I wasn't minus one, that wouldn't have hurt. I'm so glad I didn't declare the Dreadnought. So the Space Marines shrug off some more wounds, and they are very hard to kill. Ah! Adeptus Astartes. Okay, where are you, char where are you charging? You guys are the real mutants. I'm going to charge them with the Aberrants. Oh. Okay. Uh, the Redemptor. Okay, um, I'm going to use one CP to overwatch with the Redemptor, because he's got a heavy flamer. Oh, that heavy flamer. It hurts, and Anthony knows that he lost a bunch of models already. Five. One. Just one? One AP? and minus one. Six up save. Nope. Nope. Four feel no. Feel up four. Hey. Nope. The four feel no pain. Takes the uh, damage. Takes one. He's yep. down to two. I'm charging. They yeah, definitely yeah. make it in. <clears throat> and the truck gets six. Not a chance. Yeah, no worries. The Aberrants make it in, but the Rock Grinder fails the charge. Now it's time to slap a Dreadnought. I see one lethal. Big just hammer. Toughness, toughness, like whatever. Oh my god, don't tell me it was just the one lethal. Oh, it is the one lethal. <laughs> I still have other attacks. Four plus. There you go. He's fine. This is strength two, but I have lethal hits. I'm going to activate Biological Warfare to triple my attacks or get three more attacks and three more damage. I have four attacks. Here comes the ones. It's AP zero. Okay. You got one lethal, if that counts. I got one lethal. And these are sixes. One and no AP. He's fine. Oh my God. This is my melee unit. All right. What? Guess he's fighting back. Time for the Redemptor to fight back. Let's see if he can do something. Strength 12. <laughs> Who's the on so, twos? I believe their ability as well. Characters leading them, minus one to wound. If the strength is greater. So it's three plus. You're wounding me on threes. Okay. One, two. Okay, so the first guy who has two wounds left, four up funeral pain. Dead. He did. I just need to make one of these. There you go, another guy's at one. Wow, what a whip contest. At the end of turn three, it's 31-36 in favor of the Death Watch. I must admit, it, there are some secondaries that are hard for them to score in the positions they're in. Death Watcher having a little bit of trouble with their secondaries, but overall, I think it's a very fun match, and I want to see some more purple guys getting killed. I don't know how I went from like 60 or 70 models on the table to 10, not including the guys in my deep strike zone because I needed to retake my objective just for points. We were saying it looks like Anthony might lose this and he was so certain that he's gonna win, he made this bet. Before you scored in your command phase, I did notice one thing with the score. What? It's a three point difference. Yep. I think I can make that up because there's two turns left. I can keep respawning. I'm willing to bet and I will put money down that I can win. Uh, well, I've got enough bullets. I have an extra heavy intercessor set. I have an extra intercessor set. I have a heavy intercessor set that I'm willing to put down because I don't need to play space marines. You have a bit of them. Yeah. I'm sure you'll enjoy them if you win, but I know I'm going to win. I can keep this. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see how that works out because it looks like I've got a whole bunch of guns pointed at you. Never tell Anthony the odds. He does not care. Oath of moment. We are looking at this unit. My Magus unit. Okay. Oath of the moment on the Magus unit. That means Kevin gets to reroll a bunch on them. And look at those intercessors moving on the back objective. But there is a Goliath rock grinder there they have to worry about. And a desperate escape that almost killed that dreadnought. But Kevin wanted that aberrant unit free from anybody in combat with them so he could shoot whatever he wanted into it. And it might pay off. They have one wound. How many died? Two of them dying. Oh my God. <laughs> There's five in there. <laughs> Two guys trip and fall on the way out and ouch. Proteus kill team over here who's going to kill this particular group of neophytes. I got to roll the mages. On a six, you can't shoot. Okay. Um, yes. It's just minus one to hit. It's, 
That mage just would have shut off all the shooting from that unit, keeping them safe. Anthony rolls a five, only minus one to hit them. They get stealth. Uh, frag cannons at 43. Hitting a five. Oh yeah, that's right. Oath of Moment, thank you. If I'm dying, I'm dying honorably. So three, two plus. Hit the dirt for cover to give me a six up save. Yeah, try it. Oh, no, nope, five dead. The veterans are gonna start putting some shots into them as well. Man, that's terrible. There's literally all threes and twos. Oh, look, there's two more, four sustained total so far. Oh boy. Winning me on threes. Yeah. Fours. Bro, <laughs> that's another six dead. Uh, so one would go to the mages. Things are starting to look very bleak for the Gene Stealer cults. So let's see if I reanimate because I am now Necrons. Nope. Oh, Anthony cannot make those rolls. And it's a minus one, Psychic. Psychic uh, is basically just a debuff nowadays. Yeah. So six up save. Nope. Damage. D3. Let's see. Two. Four up, you no pain. I've seen Crypto Thralls make eight of these in a row. I will do this. There oh, we go. He did it. Okay. Finally. <clears throat> He survives. Mental damage, he doesn't have a brain. <laughs> he, he, has no brain he has no brain to attack. <laughs> Smooth head, there is nothing to target. The Terminators charge into the Goliath Rock Grinder, much better unit to kill this big guy. And the unit up top is going into the rest of the neophytes. Six attack city on two plus was sustained. All right, he does not get any sustain, fortunately for you. What is in strength six? Look at that. I got four and minus two. With sustained hits if I manage. All right, this is on threes. Uh, hey. That's three dead dudes. All right, 15 melee attacks with vigil weapons. Ooh. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh, boy. Kevin's starting to show the power of the Imperium here as he's just taking out unit by unit. That back objective is safe, though, Anthony. Good job bringing those guys back there. Too bad the rest are dead. What dev wound? One dev wound, two dev wound, three dev wound, two saves to make, and two dev wounds. Safety two? Yes. I don't get a save, it's all dev wounds. Okay. Should I just do like the home alone face? It's like, <laughs> all dev wounds. Five feel no pains. Five, four ups. He's One, done two, two, he's dead. So the sergeant's dead. But do these guys come back? No. This is on a five plus. No. 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 <laughs> the Aberrants are going to go down to the rest of Kill Team Cassius as Kevin strings them along so he can hold both objectives down the middle. And the Goliath Rock Grinder goes down to the Terminators. Kevin is starting to take over the board. Look at the Death Watch. All right. End of your turn. It kind of looks like it's going to be a tabling. Not much else I can do. Let's just see what cards I get to see. Maybe I could score a bit. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like those guys are a little alone here. Alone. They're isolated beyond belief. All right, engage. Literally impossible. Yeah. And storm. Hostile objective, which I don't think I've taken one from you. But I get to redraw engage. <laughs> Deploy teleport homers. Yeah, that's not happening. You own the middle. You own your deployment. <laughs> I did what I could. I might have squeezed out more points. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Hey. I've couple more. You know. Good game. Oh, you just stabbed me with your <laughs> <laughs> ring. And that's the final. Kevin wins 74-47 with Painted. And you saw Kevin stab Anthony with his ring because he didn't give him enough pain this uh, match. He needed to give him some real life pain. But that was a very good match. Thanks, Kevin, for coming out. Beautiful Painted Army, as always. I wanted to get rid of the aberrants with Kill Team Cassius just because I had opened up that opportunity. But at the same time, I wanted to keep the center uh, objective. And Cassius has to be the one to do it since he's a character and will overcharge that spot. So I tried my best to string the squad in such a way that Cassius could still stay in range, but also shoot and charge the Aberrants, which I managed to do somehow. Bottom of fourth, we're basically just calling the game since I have a unit left, no one respawns, so I can't even try for other kinds of points. And the cards I drew, I cannot score with one unit. Sadly, uh, I don't have heavy intercessors here. Tonight, I'm going to have to go loot Justin's house for them. Sorry, I mean my intercessors. 
<laughs> so uh, I have a stand-in of new Terminators. Hey, I'll take those. I like Terminators. I they like, are cool. Considering they've pretty much made their points up today. Oh, they killed a lot. The final score, 74 to 52. I tried to edge it out. Once again, good game. Thank you for playing with us here. Oh, thank you for taking off that ring to not yeah, stab me. Yeah, I didn't want to hurt you with that one this and time. And your Death Watch army is made so well. And if you guys at home want to see more of it, check out our Instagram because we have a bunch of his stuff posted there. You can just see the model showcase the exact ones we used here. Thank you for watching this Monday night matchup. It was really fun to play. Unfortunately, we got a canonical Imperial victory just as Cassius uh, did in the lore. We'll get him next time. We'll find a way to take over the Imperium. Thank you, Kevin, for coming out to play. It's a beautiful Death Watch army. Please keep making more of them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us in the algorithm. It gives us engagement. And again, thank you for watching. This is Northern Knights Gaming. Thank you for joining us on another Monday night matchup. We'll see you next time.